What's up guys? Welcome to your 155th Android tutorial for the new Boston where we're going to learn a little bit more about the string builder. Um, actually not much more but I'm going to actually kind of describe what it does if you guys didn't pick up on it already and we're going to start building our XML parser class. Also go over an overview of which each class does. So it's again just kind of an informative tutorial. Not much learning but uh, kind of reviewing what we've done. So again, we're going to parse some data from this XML file uh, of the Google Maps or Google Weather API. And as you can see here, we have the base URL and then we have a city and a state. So what we're going to do is we're going to append something to a string builder to build on our city and our state onto this URL. But first we're going to copy this base URL and we're just going to control copy the www.google.com forward slash IG forward slash API question mark uh, weather equals that's what we're copying copying we're gonna go over to our weather XML parsing class and we're gonna set up this variable again it's just gonna be string reference so we're gonna say string and we're gonna call this base URL we're gonna set this equal to what we just pasted within quotations and there we go make sure you have the HTTP in there should have copied over as well but uh, you know you want that so now we have our base URL set up again we can just say something like like static final um, because you know the base URL is not going to change just the ending is and again we have our edit text for a city and our edit text for a state we're just going to pull that data from the edit text for a city and state within our on click method pretty simple again nothing new we're just gonna say string C for city and we're gonna to refer to our edit text which we called city at least I did and we're gonna say get text uh, and then dot to string again nothing new uh, and then we're also gonna set up our state which we're gonna call s this is gonna be our edit text which I called state and again just get text dot to string and there we go we have two new strings for whatever the person entered in the edit text for the city and whatever the person entered in the state edit text now what we need to do is we need to add to the string reference you know you guys probably already know how to do that but some of you might be like how can we add to a string and uh, what we what we use is something called a string builder which we have used already but I didn't really explain it and what a string builder is is it just allows us to manipulate strings either add to it or subtract so if you're like climbing a mountain and you have a string or a rope and you're like I don't have enough rope you probably want to use a string builder to you know add some more string to what you got and that's pretty much the same way it works in Java as we use a string builder so we're just gonna say string builder we're gonna call this URL we're gonna set this equal to a new string builder we gotta give it the initial string that we want to add to so we're gonna give it that uh, you know that string we just set up which was called base URL and there we go we have a string builder which is kind of a new string builder with the base URL now what we want to do is we want to add to that base URL the city and the state and again we have to put a comma in between as you can see up here um, otherwise you know it's not gonna work so if we had something like that it's gonna be like hey I don't know what you're talking about that's crazy so we need that comma as well so we're gonna use the string builder to add the city add a comma and add the state and how we do that is by the method append which we've used as well so we're gonna refer to our string builder which we just called URL and we're gonna say dot append and what we're going to do is we're going to add to that string so what we're going to append which is basically meaning like addition so we're going to say we want to add our city first then we need to add a plus and then in quotations we're going to add our comma pretty simple and then we also have to add our state as well so that's s again those are our string references that we set up according to our edit text pretty simple right and then all we can do is we can set up a new string and we're going to say full URL. We can just set this equal to our string builder, which we called URL. 
and then just say to string because again it's not a string it's a it's a string builder and we just convert it into a string now we can refer to this URL which has our city comma state attached to the end of our base URL so pretty simple um, it's not too complicated of a concept but I thought I'd just talk about it so you guys understand it a little bit more thoroughly instead of me just kind of blabbering on uh, because I know sometimes that gets confusing now let's quickly just talk about what all these classes are gonna do before we actually start programming so you guys have something to look forward to uh, this weather XML parsing class this is where we're gonna set up our XML parser and you know kind of just set that up and then what we're gonna do is we need something to handle something that we're looking for and what we're looking for is gonna be handled within this handling the XML stuff class we're gonna be like hey I don't care about all the other junk just give me the city and give me the temperature and Fahrenheit and I'll be happy so that's what this class is gonna do but within this class we're gonna send some data once we receive like the city name we're gonna be like okay yeah send this data over to our XML data collected class and that's just gonna store some stuff and we're gonna create some methods within here um, and it's gonna store our city and it's gonna store our temperature then we're gonna create a method like return data or something collected data maybe whatever we want to call it right now who cares but uh, then within our weather XML parsing class we can call to our data collected class and just be like hey return the data that you collected and so that's how the frameworks basically gonna work for this XML parser so hopefully you guys have kind of an understanding of those three classes so when we set them up you aren't completely confused like you may have been you know previously but again thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next tutorial hope you have a good one